Becoming a monster. That says a lot. Top of the morning to you ladies, my name is Jackson Guy, and welcome back to Undertale. Now, I know what I said at the end of the pacifist run, that I wasn't gonna play the game again, and I really, really wasn't. I wasn't gonna come back to the game at all. Not for videos, anyway. I was thinking about doing the genocide route in my spare time, and I did start it. I did start the genocide route in my spare time before the last video went up, before the ending of the actual pacifist ending went up, so... I, I, like, a lot of stuff was going on inside my mind. I was just gonna do the genocide route on my own. I got as far as, um, killing Toriel at the start, and then I realized when the other episode went up that so many people wanted to see the genocide route. Like, almost every comment was people asking me to do the genocide route, or disappointed that I wasn't gonna do it because... Not yeah, at the end of, um, at the end of the, the pacifist route, in our last video that we watched, he did say, it's like, oh, that's it. Like, that's all I'm doing. But it seems like everyone just wanted him to keep playing, which is understandable. Not only that they wanted to see my reaction to some of the characters dying, but they also wanted to see, or they wanted me to, like, experience some of the story, which I want to see for myself as well. There's apparently a big chunk of the story still missing, and there was some stuff that I... Yeah, I think, Mortem, I think you're the one who said there's also more, more lore to Undertale too. Like, there's some information we hear about the characters and stuff that we missed previously. Missed at the end of the last one. I could have went all yeah. the way back to the ruins and talked to Azriel, who talks about the story as well, that I didn't do, that I didn't know I could do. So there's still a whole lot left in the game left to discover. And I know it seems a bit annoying to some people, first off, who don't like the game, that I'm coming back to it. I'm sorry. I know you'd rather see me move off to something else, but this is something that's happening. I love this game so much, and I don't want it to end yet. I don't want this whole, like, community and feeling and the fan base and everything to go away from this game yet. I feel like there's still more to explore out of it. Um, also, I heard the genocide ending, or genocide route is shorter. I might cut it down a bit more, because a lot of the stuff is going to be the same. So I might chop out some bits and just do the more pertinent parts. So it doesn't go on for 10 more episodes. It's not going to go on for 10 more episodes, trust me. Uh, well, if something at the end doesn't get in my way. <laughs> um, but th there's just, there's a whole lot left to do in the game. And I, I honestly really enjoy when people explain their thoughts thoroughly. It, whether it involved their game playing or reaction video or really whatever. I know a lot of people hate when people talk and just want to get to the, like, the point. But I really appreciate Jack taking the time to explain his thoughts. I want to go back and do it. Also, I do know that the main enemy of the game, the main protagonist name from the last time is Chara. So I call it that again. That's, um, there's Frisk and there's Chara. That's, Chara was the one that you named Sam in the last one. So, yeah, I do know some stuff about the genocide route, just from, like, popular culture and Facebook and Tumblr and everything throwing it at my face. So I did know that the character was called Chara. There's Chara and Frisk. So Chara was the one that fell into the underworld first, and they're the one who died. Um, the one you're, the one you play as was Frisk, who was a different character, who just managed to look like Chara, so... Mm -hmm. We're gonna reset Chara, and we're gonna start the genocide route from the start, so... From my understanding, the genocide route is... That you have to kill every creature in an area. So there's a certain amount of enemies in each area that you have to kill. When you kill them all, it will tell you how many are left in an area except the ruins. And then the music starts. Uh, okay, so he said you have to kill all the characters in a certain area. And it tells you. I'm sure we'll see this, but like, I wonder where it tells you, like... In your settings or something. I'm unsure of that. Has to play differently, or when you get into battles, it'll say, but nobody came. So there's a lot left to do. Some of it I kind of know, and some of it I don't. So I'm, I'm, I'm curious to find out more of the story, and I just love this game so much, and I wanted to play more of it. Um, so hopefully you're all ready to go on this little bit of a journey again. We're all ready. Don't you have anything better to do? So he's acting differently now because I've already started the genocide route, but then went back and reset it. So he's, he's, he reacts differently because he remembers what you've done. Because Flowey is the one, or Asriel, is the one who's able to oh. like, remember the timelines. He's able to remember the different saves that you're going through. <laughs> it's just like, don't you have anything? So Flowey's the only one who's going to like remember everything. And of course, obviously, the, the player. Well, I'm just trying to think this through. Like, how, how is this game going to unfold? Better to do? It's like, let's just fight. Oh, you know what's going on at this point. 
See that heart? That is your soul. Yes, yes, yes. So, I wonder what happens now if I actually dodge you. Or can I dodge you? Little white friendliness pellets. Flowey, we got it. You're a douchebag. We get it. Actually, you're not really a douchebag. Uh. <laughs> hey, buddy. You missed them. Let's try again, okay? <laughs> nope. <laughs> Joke? Are you brain dead? Run into a bullet! Nah, I don't feel like it. <laughs> oh, oh. Also, we have, I just noticed we have a, a little more audience today. We have 24 people right now in the stream. And I'm very curious if people just joined because this is their favorite run. Like, they're like, finally. <laughs> you know what's going on here. Don't you? You just wanted to see me suffer. Oh, now he's kicking into full gear. Die! Dang. <laughs> Come on, Toriel, save us. Oh, yeah, Yay! Toriel. <gasps> I like the little sound he makes when the flame hits him. Ah! <laughs> he's so cute. What a terrible creature, torturing such a poor, innocent youth. Ah, do not be afraid, my child. I am Toriel, caretaker of the ruins. So I don't know if I should be skipping all the dialogue, because most of it is the same, or if people want to hear me, like, re-talk the dialogue. I don't know. I, 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 because I don't want to annoy people either. <laughs> Just Come, do you, Jack. I'll guide you through the catacombs. So, this way. So a lot of this should be a lot faster as well, because I kind of know what I'm doing this time. Do. The shadow of the ruins looms above, filling you with determination. HP fully restored. Sweetness. Thank you. The door looks like a face. Welcome to your new home. In so I guess I'm just starting off confused. Uh, so we are starting as Chara. Is that correct? Like we're not Frisk anymore. We're Chara. Another human. Listen, one. Allow me to educate you on puzzles. Toriel will be the puzzle master. It was the first time I played the game. I didn't realize that her name was a play on the term tutorial. Fair. I don't know why I do that. I just like doing it. Only the fearless may proceed, brave ones. Foolish ones. Both walk, not the middle road. Okay. Ooh, doo, 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 doo. There's still probably still gonna be stuff that I'll miss in this too. Like some secrets here and there that I'm gonna miss, so I'm sorry about that. Um frick. Oh no, it's the next switch. What am I doing? Mm. Splendid! I'm proud of you. Thank Okay, so that comment was actually very helpful. So Flowey begs you not to restart. Alright. It's goat mom! Goat mom is best mom, except I'm gonna have to kill you soon, and that's gonna be sad. I'm even gonna attack the dummy! I don't think the dummy actually counts as, like, part of the genocide route. So, uh, genocide just means killing everything. All characters, all creatures, so all sad. bosses, everything. Everything has to die, and that's one of the reasons people wanted me to play it, because you have to kill some of these characters that you become so attached to, that's so and sad. that's gonna be very hard to do. Yeah! I killed the dummy, Mom! Oh, zero AXP and zero gold. I'm like trying, I'm trying really hard not to ask too many questions and kind of watch what happens because I know all the questions you guys will just answer. Like, just wait and see. But I'm just so curious, guys. Ah, uh, the dummies are not for fighting. They're, they're for talking. We do not want to hurt anybody, do we? Come now. There's another puzzle in this room. I wonder if you can solve it. Of course I can. What do you worry about it, Mom? Ah, man. Okay, so now I have to fight people. Yes! And I don't know if I have to fight them before a certain time. If I have to fight them before I... I think it's you have to kill every creature in the area before you go on to the boss. So mm. Toriel will be the boss in this area. Why would I have to solve this puzzle on my own? You're the one who drags me through it. Oh, well. Who cares? But yeah. This was something that I was contemplating a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, whether I was going to do this or not. And I kept saying to people who asked me on like Twitter and Tumblr that I wasn't going to do it. Because, I don't know, I felt like you know, a lot of it was rehashing the same stuff. And I know mm -hmm. a lot of people will see it that way, but there's a lot different in this. And it's completely different than the way you'd normally play it. Oh, I love this music. And I, d I just love the game too much to let it go so quickly. The series ended and I was so sad, and I just Damn. don't want it to be over so soon. I yes. wanted to keep going. I wanted to do the genocide route to see what it had to offer. And I felt like I could actually blast through it a, a, a lot quicker in like 
five or less episodes, I imagine I'll be able to get through the genocide route because I'll be cutting out a lot of stuff as well. I'm gonna keep a lot of it in for this episode, just so everybody gets reacclimatized. Wait, you're behind this. <laughs> I know you're there, goat mom. Uh, greetings, my child. Do not worry, I did not leave you. I was merely behind this pillar the whole time. Thank you for trusting me. However, there was an important reason for this exercise. To test your independence. Yeah, okay. Keep talking. Hi, Lulu. That's all the same. So, yeah, to reacclimatize people to this, I'll probably leave this episode unedited. And then after that... Oh, the frog is in here. Maybe because I killed him. <laughs> after that, then, I'll probably end up cutting out bigger chunks where I'm just walking around and just showing certain fights. Because I feel like there's no point in going through it all. Yeah, I, this video is 49, so fit minutes long, 49.11 seconds. So, uh, yeah, they probably will be shorter. It'll be interesting because, like, all the other ones we've reacted to are over an hour long. So, this is probably going to feel like it's just so much quicker. This is Toriel. Yes, I wasn't supposed to leave. I know. And I'm going to take all the monster candy. Take another piece of candy. You took more candy. How disgusting. Take a candy. You took another piece. You feel like the scum of the earth. <laughs> Take another piece of candy. Ah, oh, you took too much too fast. The candy spills onto the floor. Oh, come on. Man. Oh, well. Let's try fight people. Come on, monsters. Here we go. Ah, oh, Whimsum approached meekly. Oh, I could already spare him. But I also wanted to play the genocide room because now I get to use all the items that I was getting. I get to use all the armor properly. And I get to use all the weapons properly, which is a bigger deal. But I also get to get more than 20 fucking health. I don't know if I'm supposed to just keep going around here. Another whimsy. Ew! Okay. See, I'm very confused as the genocide run as to what I'm supposed to be doing properly. Yeah. Again, I know I'm supposed to be killing everything, but I'm not sure if there's a certain way to do it. Um, cinnamon or butterscotch? Is it cinnamon? Yeah, let's go with cinnamon this time. I had a feeling when humans fall down here, strangely, I... I often feel like I already know them. Truthfully, when I first saw you, I felt like I was seeing an old friend for the first time. Strange, is it not? Well, thank you for your selection. You have seen me before. Hello, this is Toriel. You do not dislike butterscotch, do you? I know what your preference is, but... You would you turn up your nose? Okay, that's the same. Hmm. Shh. Get oink! Okay. See, I, mean, I don't know if there's certain enemies in certain areas. It's more whimsoms. Booshki! That was a perfect... Yeah, I love that the player can choose different things during the different runs to kind of see what would have happened. Kind of see it all, like the whole picture. Attack. Nice. I'm doing a whole 30 damage. Hello? You don't have any allergies, do you? Uh, why am I asking? No reason. No reason at all. <laughs> oh, now I remember how to do this puzzle. Whee! Or do I? <laughs> ah, I went too far. Fuck. <laughs> I know how to do this puzzle. No, I don't. Never mind. Sorry. Okay, I know I said I wasn't going to um, edit out any parts, but there's a lot of, like, just moving around and killing enemies. Um, I like I, when I do the I, I've done the puzzle in here already, but there's a lot of just killing enemies to satisfy a quota, and then when the save messages just say determined, rather mm. than saying that you're filled with determination and stuff like that, then you know that you can move on. So you have to kill all the enemies in an area before you fight the final boss in the area, and then you're that's when the genesis. Is it obvious? Like, is how do I phrase this? Is it obvious of like? how many characters there are to kill in each area or is there a possibility of missing one i'm just trying to answer get answers to these questions so that when i play i kind of have a better understanding side route is um fulfilled so there's a lot more grinding in this but i do um get five exp and four gold and i'm at level three and i have 28 health i am not used to having so much health and money i, I whenever i was doing it before i was on 20 health I had no money. Yay. Knowing that the mouse will get one day get the cheese fills you with determination. It's stuck to the table. <laughs> Poor little mouse. One day you'll get the cheese. Don't worry, little buddy. Oh, no. Do we have to keep? 
Wait, to find naps of luck? No! Mm, okay. So it tells you. Oh, oh he's crying. Now his tears actually make sense. No, oh, God. Mm. I forgot what your tears actually did. Oh, Christ. Naps of luck. Calm down, bro. Would you smooch a ghost? Heck yeah. Just plugging along. Really not feeling up to it right now. Okay. Sorry. So it's pretty obvious. Napsa Block is wishing they weren't here. Me too, Napsy. Mm. Yeah. Oh, don't cry, Napsa Block. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to kill you. Ah! Oh, God, it's all right. Yay. He's a ghost, though. I can't kill him. Um, you do know you can't kill ghosts, right? We're sort of incorporeal and all. Yeah. I was just lowering my HP because I didn't want to be rude. <laughs> Such a nice Sorry. ghost. I just made this more awkward. Pretend you beat me. Ooh. <laughs> I lost an experience point. That's the block. Be a bro, bro. Wait, what's down here? Oh, Spider Bake Sale. Yes, I definitely want to do this to him. Actually, do I? Because now I'm gonna fight. I have to fight Muffet this time instead of sparing her. So does that oh, affect no that? I have no idea. I'm not encountering any more enemies either normally. Strange. Let's just save anyway. None of the froggets are here. Hello? I just realized that it's been a while since I've cleaned up. I was not expecting to have company so soon. There are probably a lot of things lying about here and there. You can pick them up, but do not carry more than you need. Someday, you might see something you really like. You will want to leave room in your pockets for that. There used to be froggets in here. Hmm. I saw Flowey! Did you see him? I did not. Yeah! No. Oh, go back. Flowey! For go that. Back. There used to be froggets in here. Oh. I saw Flowey! I saw him. Did you see him? I did. Yeah! Awesome! I wonder if I go back, will we see him again? So that was one of the things in the second episode that when I was going through, you were able to see Flowey here and there, but... Oh, I, I didn't know the scenarios in which he showed up, so he, like, keeps an eye on you. Mm hmm Sweet, there's vegetoids in this area. And there's a ribbon down here, I think. Yep. You found the faded ribbon. Sweet! The faded ribbon. Faded ribbon. Armor defense plus three. If you're cuter, monsters won't hit you as hard. I'm a cutie. <laughs> what did I take off? A bandage? I don't need you. Go away. Wait, is there not supposed to be vegetoids in this area? I kill it looks like he's looking for monsters. Is that with the veget vegetoids? Ve vegetoids? Toids. Are those the monsters? Kill them all. I don't know. Okay, we flipped the switch anyway, just in case. I... Where are all the homies at? There's uh, definitely yeah, a veget toy down here. He's gone. Is it because I killed people? I don't know. Oh, I remember this puzzle now. Yay! Oh wait, do I? It was it was the red one, right? No, it was this one. What am I talking about? Click! No! Yeah, click the switch! Yeah! You hear a clickety clack. I'm smart now. <laughs> Look at me go! And then you press the red one. Ah, clickety clack. And then you press the one on the left. A ah, clickety clack! Mm. I'm Thank a genius! You. Oh. Okay, I think genocide is in full effect. Okay, are we finally getting. Now it just says it? determination. Oh. Oh, and the music changes. That's awesome! Now you get encounters, but it just says, but nobody came. Oh! Oh, I like this. Now I'm a scary little baby. Look at me now. Look at little Chara go. Yeah, 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 I get it. That's kind of annoying, though. Now you keep saying that I'm getting encounters, but nobody came. <laughs> Just say no encounters. Come on, man. Okay, Just the same thing. Now I can thing. do this puzzle. Where do you see? Where do you see? Fuck! <laughs> same thing again. I'm such a derp. That music is really creepy, though. Jesus, stop that game. Okay, so you guys are saying he basically killed everything. Is that why he's just not finding anything? Is he already killed them? You are freaking me. Ah! 
He just, he just keeps falling. <laughs> this whole this whole video is just gonna be him falling, just trying to figure out how to how to do things. Really, really, it's really scary sounds, man. This is all nice in here again. Okay, so take me to oh. my room. All this stuff is gonna be the same. Ah, oh, she's rubbing my head. No, I'm gonna have to kill you soon. And that sucks. I'm gonna go to sleep. Ah, and we saw I in the pan the true pacifist ending that she came into the room and like put it on the floor and left yes. again. So now you actually got to see the way it happened. Oh wait, does the mirror actually change anything now? Is that a yellow flower? I like how they kept that, like the piece of pie at the end of the pacifist ending into the the new route. That's awesome. No, wait, I've seen these things before. You've seen this type of plant Hello. before, but do not know its name. Yeah, I've seen them a lot, everywhere. Especially in Waterfall. Isn't it obvious? Some things are, some things aren't. It's me, Chara. <laughs> Didn't it say it's, it's you before? Or it's me? Wait, there's the yellow flower. Flowey. Typha, a group of wetland flowery plants with brown oblong seed pods. Oh, water sausages! Now I know the name of them! The cactus, truly the most tsundere of plants. I actually don't know how to pronounce that word. Wait, will it say it now? If I go to the sausage? Oh, it is a water sausage. Ah, oh, that's a cool little, um... A cool little, uh, detail. Also, I think something happens when I go into the kitchen. So, yeah. I know some stuff that goes on in the genocide route because, again, I frequent Tumblr a lot and I see a lot of gifs, a lot of pictures, a lot of talk about these things. So I kind of knew it. Yeah, where are the knives? Chara's a badass. And I kind of know the first human that fell down, it's Frisk and Chara. Those, those are the names that I thought that Tumblr had given them at one point, but it turns out mm. that that's the name of the characters canonically in the game. But the person that you name in the game is actually the first human who fell in, and not the person you're playing as. So you're naming the first fallen human, not the character you're playing as. I'm thinking. <laughs> I'm trying to absorb all that. Let me, I gotta hear it again. But the person that you named, that that's because again, I frequent Tumblr a lot, and I see a lot of gifs, a lot of pictures, a lot of talk about these things. So I kind of knew it. Yeah, where are the knives? Chara's a badass. And I kind of know the first human that fell down, it's Frisk and Chara. Those, those are the names that I thought that Tumblr had given them at one point, but it turns out that, that that's the name of the characters canonically in the game. But mm -hmm. the person that you name in the game is actually the first human who fell in and not the person you're playing as. Okay. So you're naming the first fallen human, not the character you're playing as, whereas you're playing as Frisk all the time. Unless you do the genocide route, which changes some things. Okay. Oh, already, I see. Um, yes, we have a lot of books. Do you want to? That was a that was a lot of information for my brain to to take in there. Learn about snails. Oh yeah, she talks about wanting to be a teacher, and then she becomes a teacher in the ending. Did you want something? When can I go home? This this is your home now. Would would you like to hear this book I'm reading? Okay, so I have to, I don't know if I have to be a dickhead all the time, so I'm just gonna keep asking. Ah, oh, she as she says about the snails anyway. How to exit the ruins? I have to do something. Stay here. Nope, nope, nope. I'm gonna beat you out of the room. <laughs> ah, she's gone anyway. <laughs> so we can speed up all these encounters now, and all the all most of the dialogue is all the same anyway until you start killing people. See, this is all the same anyway. So no one will ever be able to leave again. Now be a good child and go upstairs. No! Music's back. He's gotta kill. Every human that falls down here meets the same fate. I've seen it again and again. They come, they leave, they die. You, you guys are you guys are trying to bring a FNAF floor into this? Very creative. I I see you. Naive okay. child. If you leave the ruins, Asgore will kill you. What do you say they? The other bosses as well? Oh man. So I've killed Toriel already because I wanted to do the genocide route on my own and then I realized I was playing it wrong. Do you know something that I do not? Oh god, I was skipping the dialogue. Okay, not all the dialogue is the same. She knows that I have killed her before. No, that is impossible. 
Mm. Sorry, got mong Toriel blocks away. Whoa! Wait. That was it? You you really hate me that much? I killed her in one hit? Jesus Christ. Okay, so That was a setup. I didn't know I was gonna do the genocide route on my own. No way he killed her in one in one just hit. That's crazy. Mm -mm. I said I wasn't gonna do videos on it, but then as I said, there was a sheer overwhelming response of people saying, please do the genocide route. So I decided that like this channel is all about like experiences and me and you guys all together. So I thought, why not just do it again and keep the experience of Undertale going? So I went in, I killed Toriel before that already, before I had seen what the response of the other video was. And it, it, she did not die in one hit. That's That was completely different. It took ages to kill her. Oh. But now it, she died in one hit. Because I realized I wasn't doing the genocide route properly anyway. I had to kill all the monsters. I was just killing everything I ran into while still going along normally. So now I know what I'm doing. Wait, what does, what does he mean? So how I still don't understand how he was doing the genocide route wrong before like before he started this he said he was killing everything he ran into is not what you're supposed to do please explain please now Help i me. see who i was protecting by keeping you here not you but them huh so she, she thought that she was protecting me by keeping me in- Oh, Oh, I thought I could move towards her heart. <gasps> oh. Wow! That's huge. Oh god, what's Flowey gonna say now? Now the music is gone. Oh god! This is tense! Genocide is different. There's a whole, like, different atmosphere about it. Because now you have to really, like, embody the whole, like, I'm going to kill everybody. Because that's what it's supposed to be about, that your character mm. has suddenly become, like, I don't know if they're aware of what's going on from before, or if they just feel like they want to kill everything. I know, because Frisk wouldn't do that. But Chara would. Or Kara. Maybe it's Kara, mm. I don't know. I'm going to say Kara, sorry. Thank you for clarifying. <laughs> You're not really human, are you? No, you're empty inside, just like me. In fact, you're Chara, right? We're still inseparable after all these years. See, he knows what's going on. He knows that I'm the first human that fell down. Because that was the person in the tapes then. It was Chara who had, they made Asgore sick and then they got sick and then they died. And Azriel brought them to the surface, where a flowey brought them to the surface, and then he got attacked. I can't, I can't remember the specifics of it. Listen, I have a little plan to become all powerful, even more powerful than you and your stolen soul. Let's destroy everything in this wretched world. Jeez. Everyone. Oh God, that was. Are they gonna team up? That's Toriel's face. Everything in these worthless memories. Let's turn them all to dust. That's a wonderful idea. Oh, that was cool. Whoa. He just said that's a wonderful idea. I like that. And now it's not like, hey, I'm here to stop you. Now it's kind of like, let's do this together. I hate it, but I kind of like it. I kind of yeah. like this whole mentality. I like it too. <laughs> Maybe it's because I'm crazy, really. <laughs> Okay, I, I'm curious to, by Toby Fox. We get it. We've seen all this before. Curious to see how ha Sans reacts now. Ding, 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 ding. That's a good point, yeah. Also, now this makes sense. There's a camera hidden in the bushes because Alphys is looking at you. This isn't the music that was here before, is it? I don't know, but the branch has to break, which is really cool. Yeah. And now I get to talk. Another reason I want to do so I noticed Jack hasn't ran into Sans or Papyrus. Like, did he already kill them or is this like later on? I'm wondering where they are because I, I remember like during this point in the pacifist route, he had to like solve all, all kinds of puzzles that Papyrus put out and that's just not happening. This is what I was, now. Then we get to talk about Sans. Oh. Because this is where Sans comes into play. 
spoke too Cassandra's soon. Cassandra's always been like a little bit of a mischievous character, and I've kind of known a lot about him for a while, again, because of the internet. But, oh, he's just, he's, he's the coolest character in the game. And the, the true pacifist route doesn't show mm -hmm. you that. Okay, okay, I did speak too soon. Thank you, Doesn't watching. show you why he's the coolest? It kind of does. And if, but it, you really find out in this. Human. Oh, I already turned around. Okay, so that's the same. Because normally it was like, turn around and greet me. <laughs> the old whoopee cushion in the hand trick. It's always funny. That's, uh, your cue to laugh. Or, uh, to emote at all. Gee, lady, you really know how to pick them, huh? Oh, he's talking about Toriel. He just knows she's dead. Okay, that's fine. Everyone's got their own sense of humor, so this is all new. I'm Sans, Sans the Skeleton. I'm actually supposed to be on the watch for humans right now, but, uh, you know, I don't really care about capturing anybody. Now my brother, Papyrus, he's a human hunting fanatic. Hey, actually, I think that's him over there. I have an idea. Let's go through this gate thingy. Yeah, go right through. My bro made the bars too wide to stop anyone. Quick, behind a conveniently shaped lamp. I didn't go behind it. Uh, okay. I guess you don't have to. Whoa! Sans, have you found a human yet? Yeah. Really? Wowee! This is all new! Guess that's settled. <laughs> what? That worked out, huh? Oh my god. Are you just gonna stare at me or... Just a conveniently shaped lamp. Whoa, that was weird. Well, I'll be straightforward with you. My brother would really like to see a human, so, you know, it would really help me out if you kept pretending to be one. He knows. If you keep pretending to be a human, but not really. Also, hmm. remember how Sans, like, goes one way, but that always ends up in the other direction? It was like, let's go to Grillby's. He went on the right, but it ended up on the left anyway. That's one of the reasons why he's so cool, because... Sans is not normal. He's not like a usual character. He was the one who had all the science books And I don't like I don't really feel like much of the stuff that I'm talking about anymore is spoiling things seeing as the game is already over But it's implied that Sans can teleport because of that 16 left Ooh. Yeah, Sans is a really Important character it just seems like also I've seen Jack's like other playthroughs in the genocide route one of them being like sands pouring, I don't know, it looks like potions or whatever, like in the thumbnail. And I'm so intrigued of like how sands develops as a character in this route. So I know he's very important. Ooh. Now it doesn't even say you're filled with determination. Now it's just like you have 16 enemies left to kill in this area. Kill them. Snow drink. Die. Oh, okay. It's so weird to come back and play all these monsters now. After you fought something like Omega Flowey and seeing how easy all these guys are. Yeah. Well, let's say 15 left now. Yes. So I feel like I have to just keep... Yeah, the game makes it very obvious how many you need to kill, how many there are. So that's good. Grinding. The music is different as well. The music is slower. Oh, this is the guy's fishing rod. And he had to, like, call me. Here's my number. Because he put out a line. Okay, so I think I just have to kill them all before I fight Papyrus. So, Sans, when's this human showing up? I want to look my Sunday best. Or at least my Tuesday pretty good. <laughs> Don't you only have one outfit? Yeah, but I could style my hair. You don't have hair. Oh, right. Good idea. <laughs> Say, why don't you look over there? <laughs> but I could just start turning the other way as well. <laughs> Sans? Oh my god! I'm dizzy. What am I looking at? Did they do that before? Like that spinning? I don't remember them doing that. Behold! This is all different. Okay. Oh my It's different. My god! Why are you telling me to look at a rock? 
Hey, what's that in front of the rock? Oh my god! I have no idea what that is. Well, it's not a rock. Not a rock? Oh no! By process of elimination, that means it's a human! If it's not a rock, that means it's a human. R right? <coughs> human! Prepare yourself for hijinks, for lojinks, dangers, puzzles, capers, jinkers, puzzles. being captured, and other sorts of fun activities. Refreshments will be provided if you dare. Yeah. <laughs> So evil. And you don't even bat an eye, huh? Oh, Sans knows. That's why Sans is one of the coolest characters. Because he knows what's going on. But I don't know if he can stop it or not. Who knows? There's some narration on this cardboard box. You observed the well-crafted sentry station. Who could have built this, you ponder? I bet it was that very famous royal guardsman. Not yet a very famous royal guardsman. <laughs> it was... Controversial, uh... Opinion there, no, Dodo? <laughs> Sans being overrated. <laughs> Dang. It's okay, everyone has their own opinion. It's been virus all along! Okay, let's kill all the enemies in here then. Die, ice cap! I ain't looking at your ice cap no more. Oh, I have to fight Doggo now! Oh, I forgot about dog. Did, did something move? Was it my imagination? I can only see moving things. Uh, hey, I can't stop shivering all of a sudden. Uh, who's there? And that makes more sense now, because last time I was like, why, why do I have to stay still or how do I dodge his attacks? Because it was the blue attack. I wasn't used to it back then. Killing these guys super easily. You won. You earned 30 XP and 30 gold. I do like the music slowed down. Oh! No, he doesn't show up! Okay, I'm gonna defeat all the enemies in this area and uh, then I'll come back. Oh god, you can keep taking snowman pieces. Stop, please! You got the snowman piece. I'm gonna use this. A useless pile of snow. Oh god, I, I obliterated the snowman. And also, I was dumb. Last time I was like, oh, I have the snowman piece. I went all the way back to him and talked to him. And then I forgot to take it out of my box and I actually finished the game. So stupid. Mm. Really though, that human? Do I know that person? Do you not know? Who, who you know? <laughs> of course I know who I know! I wanted to know if you know! I know who I know as much as I know I know who I know! Oh my goodness. You know? <laughs> okay, give me the thing! Oh ho! The human arrives in order to stop- I swear the comedy in this, it's great. <laughs> it's so silly. You, my brother and I have created some puzzles. I think you will find this one quite shocking. For you see, this is the invisible. Ah, uh, hmm, you must be having culture shock. That car, they just walked forward on their own. I didn't do that. Oh. You see, where I come from, it's a loving tradition to suffer through horrible puzzles for no reason. So, uh, just walk back there and, uh... So Jack isn't... He's not walking? Like, this is the character itself just doing that? It's fucking scary. Uh, why couldn't we get a human that likes puzzles? And that's Sans, it. Sans, you know? Who would make my brother happy if you played along? No, I ain't playing along. I ain't afraid of no ghost. That's a Ghostbusters thing. <laughs> okay, so some things are different. Sans is normally up there, isn't he? I don't, I'm not doing the snowball in the whole puzzle thing now. I just want to fight people. I need to fight them. Okay, so I might do all the dialogue right before I get to Sans. Or get to Papyrus. Because when you, when you fight Papyrus, then it's too late to kill everybody. Human, I hope you're ready for... Sans, where's the puzzle? It's right there, on the ground. Trust me, there's no way they'll skip this one. Now I'm moving them. Sans, oh, okay. that did nothing. Whoops. Knew I should have put down Junior Jumble instead. What? Junior Jumble? Finally, something we can both agree on. Yeah, I wonder if I will have like a new list of favorite characters with this new run. Or if I'll still like the same characters. Hmm. Guess you don't like word searches, huh? 
Me neither. I'm well, actually, now that I'm thinking, I did like Toriel. She was like in my top three characters, but she's dead. More of a funny pages kind of guy. Okay, what was back up to the top right? I forget. I'm gonna go search because I can't miss anything, which kind of sucks because I have to be on, I have to be on point. Oh yes, it was Dog Aressa and Dog Amy, right? So now I have to I have to kill them too. Some of these people I'm gonna be happy to kill because they just pissed me off when I fought them. Like that stupid dummy guy. Actually, no, he killed himself. So I don't know. <laughs> But this is all like super fast now. Ten left. Okay, let's kill them all. Here we go. Ooh, Hello, doggies. Okay. Would you like to die for me? What's that smell? Where's that smell? If you're a smell, identify your smell. Let's do this. Which one do I kill first? Oh, I have tough. I have a tough glove now as well. Oh shit, I forgot what your attacks were. Are those all blue? No. I have a tough glove now so I can like attack a bunch of times. Keep sending me to press Z. Oh, I hate this attack. I always sucked at dodging it last time. Ah, come on. Whoosh. Good God, I'm able to kill them so quick. Kneel and suffer. Oh God, that's super fast. Stop that, stop that. Ow. Dick. Direct! I'm gonna kick the shit out of you. Except, maybe not that much. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, I dodged it a bit that time. Good God, I am just destroying people. They're dead already. Whoa, all these puzzles are completed. Papyrus isn't even here to like tell me how to do this one. Hmm. Oh, spooky. Okay, you're here for this one. There's Metaton in the background, remember? I said at the oh. start, I said when I met him, I was like, weren't you at the puzzle? Hey, oh, it's the human. You're gonna love this puzzle. I'm not moving him. It was made by the great, are you serious? Sans help. They keep walking through my puzzles. They're supposed to let me explain them, then threaten and baffle them with my dangerous japes. Well, maybe they don't like japes. Everyone likes japes. What about Undyne? Doesn't she hate puzzles? She hates puzzles, but she loves japes. That makes sense. <laughs> Human, what do you think? Puzzles or japes? Okay, this is normally the part where you either agree or disagree. And depending on your answer, we say something great in response. Here, why don't you do this puzzle yourself? Okay, we don't even have to do half of these puzzles then. What does the note say? It's illegible chicken scratch. Okay. <laughs> hey, puzzles might be fun if you tried them. No. No, I'm more of the like killing everything. Whoa. Six left. Yeah, we have one job. That's all. That's all we're doing here. That's it's just which I'm actually relieved because although the puzzles are fun and it's nice and whatever, get to play along. It's just we have a job and that's all we're doing. So like we're just getting through it, which is great. I'm impatient. I just want to see what happens. There's no statues here. Oh yeah, weren't there like dog statues? Is that what he's talking about? Or is that in the snow, like other area of like the dog and the dog's head? Can't remember if it's There's tons of statues like with the long Lesser oh. dog's face yeah. or greater dog, greater dog. I think. Was that the one? Ah, shit! I messed it up. Okay. No, no. God damn it! <laughs> I wasn't supposed to do that. I'm. T You're supposed to fix it by doing like this. I remember this puzzle. It gave me some problems before. So now I don't know how long to like make these episodes. I did it wrong again. Mm. Why did you keep going? You're supposed to stop when you hit, like, an X. That's what normally happens. Why did you stay going? Hello. Oh yeah, press the button. No, now, now you're working. There you go. Now you're doing it. Yay! Ugh, go! Keep on sliding. 
Yeah, nice. Then you come up with snow on your head. I doubt that the thing is going to be open this time either. The mysterious door. Because I think that's what the credits were about. If you dodge... Oh, Sans is here. Uh, What's up? Nothing. Whoa! See what I mean? Sans can teleport. Hmm? That's awesome. Oh, uh, I see. Say, are you following me? No. Aren't I supposed to fight a grift foot here? There he is. <laughs> or grift trot. What am I saying? Boosh! Leave me alone! No! You leave yourself alone! Everybody else... Uh, your head looks like the uh, termination extraction machine. Remember when I went into the true lab, there was a big giant machine that looked like a goat head that extracts determination? It looks like your face. You dead fuck. So people all decorated the Griff Trot. Poor little dude. I was supposed to undecorate him, but I'd rather kill you! Da -da 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 -da. Da -da -da. God, that music sounded loud. I thought of something inside my house. Whew, scared me. Now, it's a door. Come on out, greater dog. Me and you got some tussling to do. Wait, Kingdom Hearts has lore? Oh, goodness. Yeah, I know you're cute, but it's time to die. Actually, you might be getting a little too into this. I'm supposed to feel sad, right, about killing all these creatures. <laughs> <laughs> I love the music. Yeah! So Put the shit up. Ah, that changed right as before it got to me. Fuck. Oh, it is kind of sad killing greater dog, though. Look how cute it is. Oh, he's sleeping. And oh, man. My love increased. That's my level of violence. That's my levels. I'm level eight already. Hi, Robin. Jesus Christ. Did you count as one of the six left? I'm not sure. I'm more concerned with, like, getting, um... I'm more concerned with getting the score of killing them all now rather than... Like, worrying about who I'm killing. That'll change, though. Because it's the boss characters that I'm going to be sad about killing. Not just... Wait, how many's left? That comedian. He's talking about Sans. Oh. Oh! He's like, because Sans kind of knows what's up, so my character's kind of starting to realize that comedian. He knows oh, what's yeah. going on. I'm not even paying to paying much attention now to this. I'm like now thinking about Kingdom Hearts having lore and like, oh my gosh, you guys are saying it's a lot more complicated than FNAF. That's crazy. I can't imagine. Okay, we'll deal with that at another time. Didn't tell me how many enemies I had left though. That would have been helpful. The gauntlet. Human, Hello. this is your final and most dangerous challenge. Behold, the gauntlet of deadly terror. No, oh, a little doggy. <laughs> when I say the word, it will fully activate. Makes me so sad they have the little dog hanging. So cute. Doesn't deserve that. This is all the same. Only the tiniest chance of victory will remain. Are you ready? Because I am about to do it. Well, what's the hold up? Hold up? What hold up? I'm I'm about to activate it now. Then then do it. Come on, papyrus, what you got? That uh doesn't look very activated. Well, they're probably going to walk through it, and it won't be fun at all. <laughs> so this human thing was a bust, huh? Well, I mean, I'm excited to capture them. So I'll become a famous royal guardsman. But all the time I put into these puzzles, it's kind of like throwing a birthday party. Without traps and fire? Exactly. It's pointless. Maybe you were right to be lazy about puzzles. Me? Right about something? Really? <laughs> yeah. What am I saying? You're still completely wrong. I just have the wrong audience. Yay. Think about Welcome. How, how much fun Undyne would have here. Flames, violence, it's right up her alley. So I won't waste this puzzle on you. I just have to appreciate the friend I already have. That's nice. Phew. <laughs> I know. A valuable life lesson. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> now I want to see if Flowey is still here. If Flowey's going to show up. Yep. 
Oh, nice. I wonder how many times that actually happens in the game then that I just haven't been realizing. Snowden doesn't sound as cheery anymore. Not with this music going on anyway. I wonder if the people are different. No one's there. They're not even here. Oh, you can Take. steal? Were you able to steal before? I don't know. No one's there. Oh my gosh. I can take things? Oh my gosh. You're not even buying it. You're just you're just going through just killing everything, taking everything. Oh my gosh. Steal. You took 758G from behind the counter. There's a note here. Please don't hurt my family. Also, everyone heard what's going on, probably. And it's just like left. And it's like, peace out. I'm not dying. Take whatever. Just don't hurt me. Oh my gosh. I wonder if that's going to be true for like everyone. And all the other characters like at the pub or whatever. They're still going to be there. Oh my god. That is awesome! The character's awesome, not even here! He said. Okay, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put all the monster candy in here, spider donut and blah blah blah. And a bicycle. I'm just gonna steal everything. Or take. I'm gonna take well, I guess it's the same thing. But uh I will I'm right now in the process of setting up my other YouTube account for specifically uh playing games gaming and um i do plan to start playing july like the first week of july i'm trying to look at my schedule right now and like plan but right now it's looking like first week of july i'll start playing so yeah i'm so excited i don't feel so good about this i feel terrible Okay, I need to equip the manly bandana because that's better um, defense. And do I have any more room in my box? No. Okay. Um, I could never forget you guys. So I'm going to drop the faded ribbon. So I don't think I need them. The inn. You should not be here. Oh, you're here. It's merely a decoy. Can I go upstairs? No one said. I can't even go upstairs. Oh my god, this is creepy. He's like getting more and more excited. <laughs> the more like no one's there. I mean, none of the characters are here. I wonder if I knock on the door. Hey! Oh, what's there's the someone. Here? Yo! Everyone ran away and hid somewhere. Man, adults can be so dumb sometimes. <laughs> Don't they know we've got them dying to protect us? I do not know. Persona, Nico. B has done Let's Play on the Series 2 Ace Attorney series. Oh. No, I don't I don't know that. Whoa. Yeah, no one's there. Yeah, that's the pub I was remembering. No one's there. Nobody here! That's crazy. You can't go through the fire exit because you're not made of fire. <laughs> oh, because Grilby's made of fire. Oh, this is so unsettling. The rocks are even gone. No answer. Remember before it was like, oh, what a nice knock. Oh yeah, the river person isn't there anyway. It's like, what a nice knock. I wonder if I, wait, can I hear it again? The guy throwing the ice cubes isn't even there. Man, have you played the genocide route as your first route? Well, I mean, the first time you play it, you'd probably end up just killing a few- There's no one here, like, what lore are you guys talking about? Like, is this gonna happen consistently where there's no one there? Because if so, how do you learn more about the lore? Or is it just Sans who kind of fill, fills in some things? Because him and Papyrus are the ones just coming up, everyone else is gone. Two of them are not going back and making sure they're all dead? But if you played, like, the proper genocide route, the true genocide route, on your first try, you'd miss so much! Yeah. You'd come here and wonder why the whole place is empty. I'm assuming Papyrus is still here. It's a mailbox overflowing with unread junk mail. Also, there's a secret. It's locked. There's a secret door behind there. 
It's locked. Oh yeah, that was always locked anyway. And it's locked from the inside. <laughs> Who's in there? Okay. That's like your guys' answer to oh, everything. Oh man, this is gonna be sad. Uh, I'll see, I'll see. I wanna see now, gosh. Oh, he does show up. I thought he wasn't gonna show up there for a second. Hi, Papyrus. Halt, <gasps> human! Hey, quit moving while I'm talking to you! I, the great Papyrus, have some things to say. First, you're a freaking weirdo! Not only do you not like puzzles, but the way you shamble about from place to place! The way your hands are always covered in dusty powder! That's like... Monster souls! Like, turn hmm. into, like, dust? It feels like your life is going down a dangerous path. However, I, Papyrus, see great potential within you. Everyone can be a great person if they try. And me, I hardly have to try at all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, again, I'm not doing this. The character's just moving on their own. Hey, mm. quit moving. This is exactly what I'm talking about. Human, I think you are in need of guidance. Someone needs to keep you on the straight and narrow. But worry not, I, Papyrus, will You're gonna gladly be your friend and tutor. I will turn your life right around. No need, bro. I see you are approaching. Are you offering a hug of acceptance? Acceptance? Oh, are you gonna kill? Wee, my lessons are already working. I, Papyrus, welcome you with open arms. Papyrus is sparing you. I can just spare him instantly? And there's no music. You can't. You gotta kill him. <gasps> Do they all die in one hit? Well, that's not what I expected. Your fucking head came off. <gasps> that's it. But, st still, I believe in you. You can do a little better, even if you don't think so. I... I promise. No! He's done. He's dead. <gasps> oh. Dude! Oh, I wonder what Sans is gonna say. This is messed up! It's so... it's really cool as well. Oh, my it's like too easy though, like that he's killing them in one hit. Oh my god. Man, that was sad. It's really cool as well because so much is different. Like almost every single screen is different in the genocide route. Which is in some insane attention to detail. Most games are like, oh you can play it this way or you can play it that way. But most of the game is almost the exact same. Like lots of this has been different so far. Sans isn't even here now. Yo! Are you sneaking out to see her too? Awesome! She's the coolest, right? I want to be just like her when I grow up. Hey, don't tell my parents I'm here. <laughs> Are they talking about Toriel? Is that what when Sans and this character say she? Are they talking about Toriel and they don't know that she's dead? <laughs> it's strangely silent. Even the echo flowers aren't saying anything. 18 left. Oh man, okay. Well, I'm gonna leave this first episode of the Genocide That's Room it. here. God, I'm full of burps. This is awesome. This is completely different. I thought, I thought, I, first off, I didn't know, like, almost all the dialogue was gonna be different. But I thought it was just, like, whatever you encounter, you killed. But, like, you have to, like, actively seek out lots of enemies and kill them all. Mm. And I didn't know it was gonna tell you, like, 18 left and stuff like that, or determination. Like, this is super, super uncomfortable and creepy, but I kind of like it at the same time. I'm curious to see how the rest of it plays out and how the characters interact differently. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching this episode. This is so much shorter. Like, I don't know for you guys how long it feels watching this, but just this first episode, if this was the longest in the genocide route of his gameplays, like, it's going to go by so fast. Like, this is... It's so weird. So if you liked it, punch the like button in the face! Like a boss! And high fives all around! Thank you guys, and I will see all your dudes!
That's the block. Okay, we're gonna check. Oh, the music in this game is awesome! That's the block, attack 10, defense 10. This monster doesn't seem to have a sense of humor. Oh, I'm... So again, for this first episode, I'm probably gonna leave in a lot of the stuff, and then... And like later episodes, I'll only leave in some very, very important parts because I don't want the series to go on forever again. But oh, I'm excited. Same.